In this uh, rather nice box is the Pepper Jobs Xten Touch Pro XT 1610UO. Bit of a mouthful. It's a portable professional color accurate 15.6 inch 4K AMOLED display. Uh, it also has a 10 point touch screen and offers pen input. For a professional creative then who needs portability, this could be an ideal product. Pepper Jobs are claiming that it's a world first and I've got one of the very first units to arrive in the UK. So, let's take a look. Uh, as with all my product reviews, we start with a quick disclosure. Uh, Pepper Jobs UK sent me this review sample, and it is just that. It's a sample which I need to return. Uh, I'm free, though, to form my own opinion on the monitor, and as always, I retain full editorial control over the video. So with that out of the way, we'll get into the box contents in a moment, but first of all, let's just run through the specs on uh, this really rather nice display. Uh, it's an AMOLED panel, so that's Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diode. What it means is that each one of the more than 8.3 million pixels in this display is its own light source, and this allows for excellent fine control over the dynamic range. And it means that your blacks are actually black. When it comes to color, Pepper Jobs claim greater than 100% coverage of DCI P3, 99% of Adobe RGB, 100% of sRGB, and 97% NTSC. And the screen has a delta E level of less than 1.5. And that's pretty good, especially for a portable monitor like this. It's offering a, a peak brightness of 650 nits and a dynamic contrast ratio of 1 million to 1. If you're a professional creative who likes a bit of gaming, uh, you'll be pleased to hear that it has a response time of just one millisecond. Uh, the screen has got an anti-reflective and anti-fingerprint coating, which seems to work quite well actually. Uh, it also claims to have a blue light filter to reduce the amount of blue light emission uh, by up to about 70% compared with an LCD monitor, while still maintaining that color accuracy. For connectivity, we've got two USB Type-C ports, mini HDMI, OTG, which I'll come back to, and three and a half mil audio. And there are also stereo speakers built in and cool features like picture-in-picture uh, -picture if you connect two different devices to the display. Uh, but perhaps most intriguing is the inclusion of a Microsoft certified pen with 4096 pressure sensitivity levels. And this really opens up the potential use cases for this display. Let's just talk about price for a moment. In the UK, it's currently on offer at £1,099. And for viewers of the channel, Pepper Jobs UK have kindly extended a further 5% off if you use the code CG5OFF. I'll put the information in the description. Uh, in the USA, it appears to be priced at $1,299. So it's not a cheap display. Can it justify that high price tag though? Uh, remember that this shouldn't be confused with a cheaper consumer portable display. And Pepper Jobs, in fact, they're comparing it with the ASUS ProArt PQ22UC, uh, which in truth is a larger 21.6 inch display, but otherwise the Xten Touch Pro beats it on specs and at a significantly lower price point, especially with those current offers. You may not have heard of Pepper Jobs. It's a company based out of Hong Kong and they're selling products globally. Uh, I previously reviewed one of their cheaper consumer portable monitors on the channel. I bought that screen with my own money, uh, and I've since bought a selection of their cables, their stands, and uh, a dongle. And I found that they're all really good quality with excellent premium packaging. The packaging in this case is no exception, and the quality of the screen really speaks for itself. But uh, let's just run through what we get in the box. Uh, obviously, we get the screen itself. Uh, there's a selection of cables as well, uh, everything you need to get connected. A couple of USB type C's, there's uh, an HDMI lead in this one and also the OTG cable. Uh, we've got this pen here, there's also a spare stylus tip and a removal tool. The pen itself is made of metal, it's uh, very reminiscent in fact of the Surface Pro pen. Uh, we also get this kind of leatherette magnetic cover which can protect the screen in transit and also double up as a stand. And we do also have then an adjustable stand included in the box. Now the model code that's printed on the back of this included stand is SSS T6, uh, but I actually have two other 
SSS T6 stands, and they are, as you can see, quite a bit larger and a different design. This may be different on the final version. What I will say is that this larger stand is much better suited to the screen. Uh, and I'm going to use the larger stand for the purpose of this review as well. The stand doesn't actually attach to the monitor in any permanent way, it's just a rest. Uh, but it is adjustable, as you can see, we can change the angle of the rest, we can also uh, adjust the height quite a lot of adjustability with it. So you're bound to be able to get a comfortable viewing angle on the go. Uh, however, what I will say is that this isn't a suitable stand for using the monitor with the included pen. It's a bit difficult to write whilst it's on this uh, not so stable surface. But there are a couple of visa mount screw holes in the back of the monitor, so I'm sure there are more secure stand options for pen usage. Also in the box we've got a USB power supply with its own neat stand, and this is quite a beast of a power supply and really a nice inclusion. Uh, you're getting two USB type C ports which share a 100 watt output. Then there are three type A ports. Uh, one of them has a dedicated 18 watt supply and the other two share an 18 watt supply. Uh, and it appears to support the quick charging standard. The monitor itself actually supports pass-through charging, so you can charge your laptop from the display. Uh, so that's one less power brick to carry around with you. Like Pepper Job's other USB-C screens, on the left-hand side of the screen we've got an OTG port and a cable included which gives you an additional USB type A port. So the monitor itself will serve as a hub. I quite like the fact that this uh, now has a Type-C connector rather than um, micro USB as it was before. Now you can also run the monitor via HDMI. It's got a mini HDMI port on the right hand side. However, if you're using this, you won't get the touch or pen functionality that way. You need to connect via USB-C to get that. But the monitor does allow for two devices to be connected simultaneously. So you can be connected via USB-C and then plug something else in via HDMI and then use the picture-in-picture -picture feature. Uh, which may be useful to some. So we've got two USB Type-C ports on this side of the monitor. Uh, one is for that power supply, and the second is to run a cable to your computer, uh, which, as we've mentioned, supplies power. Back on the left-hand side, we've got the control for the on-screen menus. It's a simple rocker control with a central button. Uh, you press it up and down to navigate the menus, uh, you press the button in the middle to select menu items, and then you hold it in to navigate back up through the menu. Once you get used to it, it's pretty intuitive and easy to use. But the build quality of the Xtend Touch Pro is really fantastic. Uh, the chassis itself is aluminium, uh, so that feels really good. And you've got a glass front to it which covers the whole of the front of the display. Uh, I don't have any professional calibration tools to check all of the colour accuracy claims. Um, to my eye, it does look very good. And I've run a bunch of different test images and content through the display and I've used it in my regular work and it, it seems absolutely fine. I, th I think a professional who really depends upon colour accuracy will want to play around with it a bit. Uh, through the on-screen menus you can adjust various aspects of the display, uh, you can choose different colour profile modes and then of course you've got the colour profiles on your computer itself. Uh, for me, I'm really impressed with the picture that this monitor provides and the resolution is incredible. Uh, to have 4K in such a small form factor is absolutely brilliant. Uh, the touch screen is very responsive, it works well on my Windows 10 machine. Uh, apparently touch and pen are also supported on Android, although I don't have any Android devices to test that. Uh, I have plugged it into my iPad Pro, uh, the screen works fine, but uh, there's obviously no touch support or pen support. And what about uh, Mac OS support? Uh, well the screen will work fine with Mac OS, uh, but there's no touch screen support and there's no pen support. Uh, possibly Pepper Jobs will make some drivers for that, I, I don't know. Uh, I think there is an older version of Mac OS that does give some limited touch support, which may work. Uh, but for the latest version of Big Sur there's no touch support as far as I'm aware. Uh, I actually found uh, a slightly odd issue as well. I tried plugging it into one of our iMacs and it just wouldn't fire the screen up at all via USB-C. Uh, and I also had the same issue via the HDMI port when trying to connect it to the mini PC that I reviewed on the channel a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure why that should be, uh, why those things wouldn't fire up the display. It's worked fine with my laptop, it's worked fine with other computers. As I say, it works with the iPad. Uh, but there may be a couple of devices that have some incompatibilities. Um, perhaps this is an early version and there'll be a firmware update which will fix that. This pen is quite an interesting addition to the screen. I gave the Xtend Touch to one of our illustrators to play with. Now he normally uses a, a Wacom for this type of work. And let's be clear, this is not an artist tool like a Wacom screen is. 
Uh, it has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, and that is a lot, but it's around half what a Wacom system typically offers. So our illustrator, he loved the screen uh, from the perspective of the colors and the resolution. But what he found was that the stand was really frustrating. Uh, he would want something obviously a bit more secure. Uh, he did also notice a bit of lag when he was drawing, but I think this was just because the laptop was using the onboard GPU instead of the discrete GPU. Uh, and there is perhaps a lesson there. Uh, this is a 4K display after all. You're going to want a decent GPU if you're going to be using the pen with this display in anger. Now I'd say the pen support is great for marking up content, for editing photos, for taking notes, but professional illustrators should set their expectations appropriately because this isn't a device that's aimed for that market. Uh, it's not specifically designed for professional illustration work. And there are other devices on the market that make more sense at this price point. I think it's pretty great that you've got uh, stereo speakers in this uh, little monitor. They're not the best speakers in the world, but they do go up fairly loud. And pretty good for listening to voice content, spoken word. Music, not so much. Uh, and movies, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, they lack bass response, so uh, probably good for in a pinch, but uh, I wouldn't want to rely on those speakers. Uh, fortunately though, if you're editing or doing work on the go that involves audio, you're probably going to be using headphones. And we do have a headphone jack on the side of the monitor here, which means you can sit right in front of the monitor, nice short cable run. That's a really nice addition. Uh, something I'd have really liked to have seen on this monitor, given its portable form factor, is a battery, uh, even if it only provided a couple of hours of power. It would make this product so much more versatile. So who is this screen for? It's clearly not designed for casual consumers, though I don't doubt that some of that demographic would buy this screen, uh, purely for its versatility and performance. Uh, but I think the real market is so well suited to photographers and videographers who do location work. Uh, finding a laptop with a colour accurate screen uh, usually means quite a big spend and can be a bit challenging. But with this screen, uh, so long as the computer has got the power that you need having this monitor ensures that you can do your work. Uh, mobile video editors would probably love to have a second color accurate display connected to their editing laptop, especially one in such a small and portable form factor. Uh, being able to connect it also to an HDMI source, well, that could prove really useful on set. Of course, big budget productions will spend vastly more on their equipment. So I'm not suggesting that the Hollywood elite will be forming an orderly queue to buy the Xtend Touch Pro. Uh, but we do live in an age where video content has become far more widely available. And there are a huge number of video professionals and prosumers, amateurs, who are producing high quality content for YouTube and other platforms. And this Pepper Jobs Extend Touch Pro would likely fit very nicely into such a workflow. For me, I'm really impressed with this screen and I'm quite disappointed that my time with the screen is up and I've got to send it back. Yes, it is a niche product. Uh, but it's a niche product that's offering features that just haven't been seen before at this price point. And I'm really interested and quite excited to see what Pepper Jobs do with this next. In any case, that's it for this video. I hope you found it entertaining, interesting, or informative in some way. Thanks in advance for all of your shares, likes, subs, and uh, we'll see you next time for some more geekery.